Hello guys, it's Mac Guitar here today. Now first off, I'm going to show you how to do some awesome stuff. Using the mob properties mod. Now mob properties let you customize mm -hmm. cows and abilities and well, customize mobs and abilities and stuff. Now for instance, I have this fiery bread, which no. fires my tent. Now I'll show you how to get this. First off, I'm going to kill this cow. No. And yeah, he drops steadfast three armor. Now I call it magical thorny hide. Uh, hold on one second while I lower down the sound a bit. So, he drops magical armor that's enchanted level 30. So, yeah. He also drops fiery wheat, which I actually... Which was actually wheat when I was supposed to put bread. Because I'm an idiot. Please excuse my idiocy. Anyway, so yeah, he drops some stuff. He also has some custom properties and stuff. So, mm -hmm. I'm going to go right to the config file and show you how to do this. And this one has fire protection three. Wow, I'm wearing three stacks of armor. Because Zodin. Oh, that one has something good. Protection four, that's not bad at all. Mm -hmm. Protection four is fast, that's cool. Yeah, most of the effects, and we also have this pig here. Ow. Who actually dropped what? A poor chub of death. Now, let's go to the config file. Hello, guys, it's Matthew Tour here. Now we're back on the config file, and now I'm gonna show you how things work. Okay, so first off, you may have noticed one. We may have noticed that the cow may has now. You may have noticed the cow has some stats here. This is the choose. Now I'm gonna show you how each of them, some of the stuff works. Okay, so first off, we have the choose command here. Now choose command allows you to choose a random. It's kind of the namesake. It lets you choose a variable, giving a chance. And this is fifty out fifty chance. So you have a one in fifty chance of getting the mob. So like point two two percent. He has a chance of getting either speed 2, potion, which is right here. Now, it, the potion works by using the ID followed by the strength slash amplifier. The second potion is invisibility with the strength and amplifier. Now, if you put it at 0, it's just going to go to invisibility level 1. If you put it level 1, it's going to go to invisibility level 2. Etsa, etsa. That's how Minecraft kind of works. It's not the mob properties, well, it's Minecraft. Next, um, first off, you have to make sure all your things are in brackets properly. Otherwise, it won't work. It will crash saying you did something wrong. If you need help, just message the maker on Minecraft forums. Um, but here's how to do it, just in case you're kind of competent. Now, here is uh, the name. You can also use sectional code. You know the sectional symbol? You can use that here to give the name custom colors. However, you cannot use commas, colons, stuff like that. Because the, the thing uses it for all its functions and stuff. Next, we have the actual item that it has equipped, which is the Magical Thorny Cowhide, which is right here. Now, the way equip works, first you have the equip function, the stat, followed by true. Now, this true means that this is the equip, um, the override. Basically, it means if if the cow has something equipped in the chest plate section, which is the, this section right now, the body section, it will override it. But since cows don't, it just makes sure that it puts it on. This right here um, is the percent chance of it to drop. I put 1.0 just for testing purposes, but I'm gonna change it later. This is the amount. This is the actual item ID, followed by damage, followed by the amount, followed by damage, and then followed by the amount. Right here in this giant tag here, tag list thing. Let me just move that aside. This is the item info. So if you modify this, you're going to modify some of the item's information. Enchant is kind of self-explanatory. However, enchant 30 here. Enchant your item with a random with a random enchantment from level 30. Like you use the enchantment table on it. The color is the color code. So our leather armor and stuff. Or our other modded items things. The name is self-explanatory. It's just the name of the item. Lore is again self-explanatory, so I'm not going to go into detail about that. And make sure everything is put inside a uh, bracket, otherwise you will crash. Now we're going to the drops. Recently hit means that if the mob was hit by you, or a tamed wolf within 5 seconds, it will drop the item. So, right here is a potion. Now right here, you have to use an add function. You can also use a remove to remove the item. Say zombie flesh or whatever. That's it, that's it, yeah. Okay. So you can also make sure that you... Now, when I used add here, 
well, my, f my father told me it for me, actually. He used 373, 16A. So, this right here is the Splash Potion. If you extend it past that, it gives you a random color. It gives it, he also gave it a 3% chance. And this right here, this bracket, is the item info. Basically. So, it uses a choose function again. And the choose function chooses one positive and one negative effect to put on the potion. And then it gives it a custom name. Splash Potion of S, which is a random name. Now here is my own creation. This is another add function. However, this one adds in wheat, which was supposed to be red, but I'm an idiot. The wheat has a zero, and you get a one through 30, 30 amount of wheat. Now you use a tilde to use these amounts. So if you want, you want, let's say you want a zombie, a cow to drop one through five pieces of, I don't know, um, milk buckets or milk bottles. It, you just have to make sure that this one is five, and the, make sure the, the least one, the lesser amount goes on the left, and the greater amount goes on the right. This is a drop chance again. Enchantments and stuff. Same as the item info from up here. And make sure everything's put in nice brackets, otherwise your game will explode and die. <laughs> <coughs> and that's it for today. If you guys have any information or any questions, be sure to ask Father Toast or me. I have some information of how this works. Now let me show you something, another different example. The All Command. Now here is a custom iron, um, custom mob I created. Now when you use the All Command like this, it actually equips a full set of armor, as you can see. Now this is an old, mo uh, old thing, but yeah, I made him wear all iron, all obsidian, and it, the amount you choose is the chance it'll get chosen. So yeah, that's basically it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. But yeah, that's basically all the functions and stuff. You can also add in for you can also add in rare or super rare for the uh, instead of using the add command. Which is kind of like using the rare drop for bowls for skeletons. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye, everyone. And.